My father and I got to talking about the excellent Danish documentary Armadillo again. For those of you who don't know, it's about an army base in the Middle East with Danish soldiers and the documentary crew basically followed the troops around and filmed everything. And it raises some important moral dilemmas. And I wanted to make a video about the some of the issues in modern warfare. I would say that it is necessary for soldiers to have an us and them mentality. Otherwise, I don't think a human being can handle shooting other people. I think there is an instinct to try to preserve the species. We try to befriend those who are like us before we fight them. We only fight them if we have to or if we feel threatened. And in order to fight someone consistently like that, an us and them mentality is necessary. And this is the sort of thing that you have to learn. I don't think that you would hate people and want to destroy other things, kill other people con consistently unless you had been taught that certain people are below you, somehow deserve to be killed. One problem with warfare is that it does satisfy this urge to go out and fight something, kill something. We're no longer killing our own food. We're no longer fighting to protect our territory. At least many of us in the West aren't. And so we look to things like war. I mean, many people get the adrenaline boost from extreme sports, or just regular sports, but some at least feel that they need more, and warfare satisfies that. But it is worth noting, and I hope that more people who consider joining the army or fighting, it does something to a person to kill another person. I don't think you ever become the same... I mean, not everyone is psychologically destroyed. Not everyone is forever haunted. There are those that enjoy it, I suppose, but for most people it will affect you. Maybe not right away, but it will affect you, and it's not something you can undo. And I just hope that people consider that before they join up. In Armadillo, there is one particular individual who is clearly very upset by a situation where he feels that they did something wrong. And we see that a superior officer, rather than trying to find out who it is who feels bad, rather than trying to ensure that he is wrong that they didn't do something 
wrong, that they didn't break the Geneva Convention, that they didn't commit a war crime. His first instinct, his first course of action seems to be to cover his own ass. I find that incredibly distasteful. And I honestly don't think that such a person should have such power over others. Literally what he does, as we see in the film, is to try to quiet dissent and encourage camaraderie. Suggest we're all in this together and we all have to stick together. You know, conformity. Not appealing to anyone's sense of what's right or wrong, but merely hoping to convince that they certainly shouldn't speak up. I can understand having that position in this situation, but I don't think that anyone who has power should be like that. I think anyone who is discovered to be like that and who has power should be removed from that position. And to talk more about the adrenaline rush, again, not everyone gets the full rush from running or participating in sports, and so they seek combat. And there are those that get addicted to this adrenaline rush. There are those that seek it out with more focus on the rush than what they're actually doing. Which I suppose you could classify as a sort of hedonism, really. But putting your own needs above the consequences. Even if you don't think that this rush is a negative thing, let me ask you, if there wasn't already a war, what would these people do? If there were enough of them, would they actively campaign for starting a war on someone, anyone, that fell into the category of a potential enemy just so that they could get this rush just so that they could enjoy the adrenaline the natural high yet again I'm not saying I know exactly what we can do for these people, because obviously this is a... I don't know if it's really a need, but for some it might at least feel like one that goes unfulfilled in modern life. As it should, because it's not really a good thing for it to be naturally fulfilled anyway, for us to be fighting each other in other situations than where it is necessary, where it is self-defense. I'm not saying that I have a solution, but I think one should be found. I think this is something that needs to be dealt with. That's it for this one.